The following module is one part in a series developed by the Quality Improvement Corps for the National Maternal and Child Health Workforce Development Center. This module will introduce the Plan, Do, Study, Act cycle. By the end of this module, learners will be able to define the Plan, Do, Study, Act cycle, including why and how to use it, define and discuss the key components of the Plan, Do, Study, Act cycle, discuss scaling down your change ideas using the drop two principle, and finally, share tips on testing multiple change ideas in parallel using plan, do, study, act cycles for quick and efficient assessment. Once your team has established the aim of your project, determined how you will measure improvements, and identified specific changes you want to make, the next step is to test the changes using the plan, do, study, act cycle or PDSA cycle. The PDSA cycle allows your team to plan how you will test a change, try the change on a small scale, make observations about the results of a change, and then take action based on what was learned by adapting, adopting, or abandoning a change. Basically, the PDSA cycle is the scientific method used to rapidly learn and take action. You can use the components of the PDSA cycle to guide your test. First, plan how the changes will be tested. What do you hope to learn by testing the change? What will happen when you test the change? How will the change be carried out? Be specific about who, what, when, and where. How will you collect data, both qualitative and quantitative data? And again, remember to be specific about who, what, when, and where. Second, try the change as planned on a small scale. Remember to test it with one to two people for a short amount of time prior to implementing on a larger scale. Make observations and collect data as you try the change and document any problems as you try the change. Next, take time to study the data collected, compare the data to the predictions made, reflect on the data and what was learned, and finally, act on what you've learned. Determine whether the change should be adapted, adopted, or abandoned. Make any necessary adaptations to the change. Plan how you will try the change with the new adaptations. Then, start over with a new PDSA cycle to test the same change again but including these new adaptations. Complete this process as many times as possible until you feel the change is ready to implement on a wide scale. Each time you complete a PDSA cycle, you build knowledge, data, and confidence that a change is ready to implement. However, a change does not always achieve the results we expect, so it is important to test on a small scale before wide-scale implementation. This includes the time frame you're testing, as well as the number of people you test with. Remember again to start small. Many times, our initial thought is to test on a large scale. For example, your team has created a new form. Your first response may be to print copies and try it with all clients for the next month. But what if you print 500 copies of the form and later learn the form does not capture the information needed and has spelling errors? One tip to help you try changes on the smallest scale possible is the scaling down or drop to principle. When you have a change and you think, let's test this change for the next month, scale down the change by two. Let's test this change for a day. Testing on a small scale will also allow your colleagues to try the change and give feedback before it is implemented across the entire organization. This will increase buy-in and help reduce resistance to the change. To increase your confidence that the change will be effective in the future, try it under many conditions. Test with different people, those who are most experienced with the process, and those with the least experience. Test under special situations, for example, different shifts, units, seasons, etc. Test when someone says, it won't work because, 
and this will give you additional opportunities to test the change and can help narrow down multiple situations in which to test. Most often, multiple changes are needed to change an entire system or process. This will require your team to try multiple changes at the same time. For example, if your team is working to improve the efficiency of a process, you could potentially test three to five changes at the same time, such as resequencing of the order of process steps, reallocating appointment times, scripting reminder calls to clients, etc. Testing in parallel allows you to test, learn, and adapt changes in rapid fashion, leading to rapid improvement. Now let's try it. Think about a change you want to make, either in your personal life or at work. How can you use the PDSA cycle to try the change on a small scale? Think about the following questions. What will you test? What do you hope to learn from trying the change? How can you apply the drop to principle? And how can you try the change on the smallest scale possible? I encourage you to use the provided link below to check out the quality improvement step-by-step -step guide for links to the PDSA template worksheets and example. Thanks for listening in and happy testing.